Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Bella Amy, the Twilight Princess here, and today I'm back for a reaction video requested by my friend Foxy of Fox 110. So let me make this clear so no one asks. I do not take reaction video requests anymore. I only do it sometimes for my friends when I want to or when I have time for close friends like Foxy and Merida. Please don't ask me for requests. I'm so busy and I do not want to be a full-time YouTuber anymore. There's plenty of other people out in the world who will do reaction videos for you. And besides, when I make videos, I want to do it when I want to. And that's the way I want it to be because this is only for fun. I don't like people bossing me around and trying to tell me what to do. That might sound mean, but it's not. It's the truth. I don't like being bossed around. I like to do what I want to do, and if you have a problem with that, then just go find someone else to ask reaction videos. Anyway, so let me go down into my like videos and see which one she wanted me to do. So this is another SS Sniper Wolf video by the Vegan Teacher. Now I find out a kind of more about her. I learned about her from one of my friends who made a video on her for the first time. And I figured out who she was, and she is honestly ugly looking for a lady. And secondly, I found out why everyone doesn't like her. Because she wants a lot of people to be vegan, and she doesn't want people to like meat. And if they do, then they should die or something like that. Like, my friend Foxy told me she told people to die before if they don't like meat. Like, what the heck? Come with a ting, come with a ting. So this should be an interesting video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hope you all like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see the original video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. As well as my friend Foxy's channel. Her birthday is actually soon, by the way. So you guys can go subscribe to her for early birthday gifts. I'm sure she'll like that. Travel to the far reaches of the galaxy. We got recruited by the SS Sniper Wolf. If you're watching this, if you don't wake up tomorrow, it won't bother me at all. And in fact, honestly, I would be kind of happy. Hello, friends, it's me. I hope your day's going great. Mine was until I found out that the vegan teacher wants me dead. You heard that right. De what? And so, let me get this straight. She's kind of. Okay. I think this is correct. So the vegan teacher is sort of committing an act of murder, not literally, but warning someone dead is kind of giving a sign of like you want to murder them or something. She needs to be arrested. I didn't know that vegan teacher was that crazy to maybe murder somebody. Yes, she probably is. Y'all remember vegan teacher? Please don't feel pain. This girl is on cocaine. Her TikTok hurts my brain. Ooh. She drives people insane. Somebody- Oh, a lot of people hate on her. Asked the vegan teacher what she thinks about me. I made a whole video to answer the question. SS Sniper Wolf is a real tough one. Because the truth is that she has demonstrated in her videos the way that she has reacted to me that she is actually like deeply unkind. Somebody who is actually like evil. I treat people how they treat me. If you want to attack me, say all these horrible things about me, insult me, how do you expect me to be kind? Or pr Exactly. Like if someone's mean to me, like I'm not mean back, but I can become sarcastic. Like earlier today, someone asked if I could read. And they were actually talking to somebody else, and it wasn't meant for me, but I replied back, like, uh, of course I can obviously read. What kind of question is that? I didn't say what kind of question is that, but I mean, I just kind of gave a sassy remark. Perhaps it's a fact that I'm not vegan, therefore, I am evil. Now, you might think to yourself, well, that's a bit harsh, but what do I base that on is that this evening I was watching part of a video. When I watched them just now, it really struck me how cruel she is to talk about the animals in such a way as if they are just objects meant to be used, and that she actually truly thinks that. Ah, okay, because I eat meat means I don't care about animals. Please I eat meat, so does that mean I don't care about animals? 
A lot of people eat meat. Really, I care about my dogs. The short rib taco that was once a cow I ate prior to filming this video. You're right. That was a good taco. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Just so shows how narcissistic and how self-absorbed this person is. I think she's using the wrong words. I'm narcissistic and self-absorbed because I eat meat. Everything in her path is either something that she is going to use or it's useless. Get rid of it. That's how she feels. And I just find that that's just horrible. That's true. If something is useful, you use it. If something is useless, you get rid of it. Isn't that how everybody is? And I like it's a bad thing. Do you keep useless things? I got a useless things drawer. Uh, uh maybe if I can make it into something cool. Somebody who's so cold. Those type of people actually frighten me because I don't want to live in a world with people like that. I am the opposite. You are one of those people. That. I have empathy and I think some people do. A lot of people have empathy, but it only extends to when it's convenient for them. Ah, it appears I have found something in common between the both of us. I never really talk about this because I feel like there's something wrong with me. Where to some degree, I lack empathy. There are a lot of things I don't care about. Things I probably should care about that I don't. And then there are people... Uh, there's probably certain things that I should care about that I don't, but I don't know what it is. Like vegan teacher who pretend to have empathy, pretend to care, when really you're lying to yourself. Also, this woman does not have a drop of empathy for other humans. She even made a video called When the Twin Towers Came Down, Many Animal Eaters Died. Was this a good or bad thing? The fact that you even mentioned that shows your lack of empathy for humans. Exactly. Thousands of people died and you're like, well, did they deserve it because they weren't vegan? Oh, yeah. Anyone wishing someone to die, whether you don't like them or not, like you deserve to go to hell for that. Vegan or not, I know a lot of people prefer animals over humans. Animals don't do nothing. Uh, if you eat people, then you're a cannibal. Humans suck. But what's up with vegan teacher? Does she have friends? Does she have family? To me, it seems like she's by herself all day with infinite time on her hands. Like she has all day to record these videos, make all these TikToks, to react to all these videos. I thought daily uploading was difficult. You know, it's evil, heartless, and cold as you think I am. I have people I care about. I have people I love. I'm surrounded by a very good group of people. I am against stealing baby cows from their mothers. She thinks it's totally fine. You know, somebody like that will never change unless something drastic happens to her. Like, let's say she's cooking one day and accidentally a bunch of hot oil splatters on her face and she loses her sight or you know, has a permanent disfigurement. That's a bit far. To practically wish ill will on me because I'm not vegan? You shouldn't wish anything bad upon anyone. Not even your worst enemy. You know who else has no empathy? Psychopaths. I truly think that this is psychopath behavior. Those are the kind of events that will wake somebody up like that or a scare with, let's say, cancer or something like that. Otherwise, somebody like... My grandma died from cancer. Yeah, SS Sniper Wolf will continue to live in her bubble and continue to make fun of animal rights activists like me. You make it very difficult not to make fun of people like you when you act like this. What? Exactly. The, the, aren't you vegan yet, yet Mr. Mr. President Trump? Trump. Wait, singing <laughs> with a banana, do you see how you're like embarrassing yourself? <laughs> Is it because you're stuck, stuck on the toilet, toilet trying hard, hard to push, push out, out a dump? A dump. <laughs> Ew! <sighs> Actually insane. She made a video applying to Tommy in it. Tommy. Who's Tommy? Also, she is really over dramatic if especially she's like an actor. The nice vegan girls, girls don't want to see your buttons. buttons. But if you but want, them want them to play, to play with, with your buttons, buttons you're, gonna you're gonna have to show them, them your fruits and your vegetables. And your vegetables. She, is she is speaking to a 17-year-old boy and then whips out two round veggies and a cucumber. At this point, you're just disgusting. Disgusting. People get locked up for this kind of behavior. Although she thinks about me, it's not enough. To say, to say, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Miss Katie. She belongs in a mental hospital. She, she eats an ice cream cone. In fact, she's not sorry at all. She rather enjoys taunting me. Now she's playing the victim, like she's making fun of me. Uh, Ma'am, you were the one who came at me. You started this. Would I care if somebody like her never woke up? Honestly, no. And that's.
that's what makes you a bad person. I wouldn't. I think the world would be better without somebody like Leah. S.S. Sniper Wolf, you're watching this. If you don't wake up tomorrow, it won't bother me at all. And in fact, honestly, I would be kind of happy. You know, when I was eating my eggs this morning, I didn't even think about the chicken that I stole the eggs from. I ate my breakfast and went on with my day. It's kind of like you didn't wake up tomorrow. I also wouldn't care. I would just move on with my day. When something's useless, you throw it away. Just like you said. Unless by some miracle it affects you, then I'll change my mind about how I feel if you never wake up. Right now, I wouldn't care. There are billions of animals that you are contributing to hurting right now because you have 29 million followers and they eat three times a day. I'm hoping that some of your followers will be able to see this message and think, you know what? That vegan teacher's right. I mean, to be fair, she got. I don't think it's right. Uh, thousands and thousands of subscribers from my videos. No matter how many people disagree with her, think she's stupid, there's always gonna be some Karen or some fool out there It's gonna be like, I actually like her, and subscribe. That's fine, there's somebody out there for everybody. I am here on social media to disrupt society, to get people to talk about the animals. That's why I'm here. I am not here to get any specific people vegan, because I don't think that that's my real job. I understand, but you're saying you wanna piss people off. You want people to talk about veganism. There are so many other insightful and more useful vegan pages that people can go to to promote veganism. The way she's doing it, she's kinda like shoving it down your throat. She does it in a way that pushes people away even further. And maybe that's the only way for her to get noticed on the internet. You know, if you wanna be more respected as a person, make videos making your favorite vegan recipes instead of doing stupid videos like these exactly. maybe people would actually like her if she made nicer videos or doesn't like do things that are mean or anything like that. oh yes god it's god yes the students are here oh okay now she's putting god into this okay this is getting like really bad important message okay he says no more ice cream unless it's soy ice cream and what tofu ice cream this is just disrespectful time to change your religion like you change your underwear change your religion show god that you really care that's not how you can't make someone believe in god religion works. You don't change your religion every day. How long does she wear her underwear for? Has she ever changed it? I'm not even surprised at this point. Also, what does religion have to do with being vegan? If your religion says to eat meat, it's gotta go. Sorry. So not only is she stupid, also disrespectful, and just overall an insane person. She did a TikTok duet on people handling meat, making my thumbnail face. <laughs> you do it well. I am don't. Also, you talk so much about helping animals, but why don't you do anything else? You could be doing so much more than making these worthless videos. What if you actually showed people you were helping animals, like maybe taking your dog out for a walk, or volunteering at an animal shelter? On the internet. Like, if you really loved animals, you could be volunteering at places to actually help animals. Exactly. No, I think she's addicted to the attention. I've seen so many people like yeah, I'm not surprised. I think she just joined for the internet to get attention, but mainly for the money. I'm sure she makes money on the internet. Some people make money from YouTube. I'm not one of those people, but I'm sure she's one of those people. Her. You probably want most of your life, no internet, you know nobody. And then once you get the smallest drop of clout, you start getting views, comments, attention, and she keeps doing crazy stunts, coming for all the big name YouTubers she can find to get more views. But Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And make sure you subscribe during the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Well, guys, that's the end of this reaction video. I hope you all enjoyed it. That was pretty interesting, and I hate the vegan teacher more than ever now. And... Um, I think she's stupid and very cruel and she just, I think she goes on to people to get attention. Like, honestly, I like the SS Sniper Wolf and I don't think she did anything wrong and I think the vegan teacher just likes hitting on people to get attention and money and like she just, she's an attention seeker basically and I think she's obviously probably doing YouTube for the money. I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.